had a break, and I wanted to call and wish you well on your program tonight. Thanks, Dad. I heard you jingle for the lobby today. It was very catchy. John was singing all day. Thanks. Lydia thought it up. So your program starts at 7, right? I really want to be there. Don't worry. I know we'll be there if you can. If not, Mom will be the program. If it was any other night, I would have closed up early. But this is just such a busy time of year. I don't know. We'll see. No worries. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm just so tired from all these practices. Well, you sit down and rest while you can. perfectly last night, and I know you'll do a great job. I'll let you go. Love ya. Love you too. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired.
some just got his license and were looking to buy a camel, but nothing fancy. My return is five hundred. It is. Hey, Dad, can we check out the new H two? I heard that. The two hot camels are our best sellers. Thank you. 
Wow, this is not the best night for me to get away. Another look at some camels that I think would be a welcome addition to my collection. 
We can certainly set you up. Are you having a good stay in Bethlehem? Oh, we come to the city often. Such a quaint getaway spot. Although I must say, we don't usually have such a hard time finding a place to stay. We got the last room at the end. You don't say. Well, we've seen a lot of people come through the gates today. As a matter of fact, I saw the innkeeper offering a stable to the old couple. The wife, poor thing, looked like she was on the verge of giving birth. In a stable, no less. I can imagine. Really? A stable? A manger? Where did you say you were staying? We're staying at the Star Hotel. Is that the hotel over on Jordan River Way? That's correct. It's right across from one of my favorite boutiques, Heavenly Tunics. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping in. My assistant, Lydia, will set you up. I hope you have a nice day in Bethlehem. Thanks. This town is just a little bit too crazy right now. I can't wait to get back to my villa. The traffic alone could drive a person crazy. People, camels, donkeys, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Well, you've come to the right place. 
I'm looking for a dependable camel, one that's been well trained. You don't look like you're from around here. No, I guess you could say I'm from the east. <laughs> I hear you have the best camels in town. Will you need financing or do you plan on using instant payment? I can pay in gold, frankincense, or myrrh, whichever you take. Excellent. Sarah, would you help this gentleman find the right camel? I think he looks like a wise man. Actually, we have traveled a great distance to see the new king. You came to see King Herod? Interesting. No, no. Although we did come to see the newborn king, the Messiah. We've been following the star for months to get to this location. <laughs> That's the one. And according to our calculations, it's just above a stable on Jordan River Lake. I've heard about this Messiah, but it's really quite busy to hear. I hope to go over there tonight, although, again, I'm really busy. Yes, you're right, but I also have a business to run. Selling camels should be my top priority. Tonight is not... How can we even think about Malcolm? We've traveled for months to get here. We're so close, and, and he's right here in this very town. You really should go see him.
want to look around. So, do you have those hybrids that eat less and, you know, require low maintenance? I Hi, Mr. Tallman. Well, hello, Brittany. What brings you to the camel lot? My dad's buying me a new camel for graduation. I'm surprised my daughter isn't with you tonight. Elizabeth said she was too tired to go anywhere tonight. Hey, did you hear about that special game in Kansas City? You know, I have heard. As a matter of fact, I have. We have some children on the way over here, and they told us all about the child. Yes, I spoke with some of them as well. It's hard to believe that the finally long-awaited Messiah is here, right here in Bethlehem, in a stable, no less. Are you going to go see him? Well, it's funny you should ask. I've been waiting to see if business might slow down a little, but it's still really busy. But perhaps, Jonathan, Jonathan, would you please go show these girls around? And, and could you find me Lydia? Lydia, do we have any more appointments tonight? Hmm. We have a centurion scheduled later tonight. Other than that, we're clear. Well, please contact them and reschedule. And tell the employees that we're closing Camelot in an hour. We have more important <coughs> things to do. Well, hallelujah. This is great. They are going to be so surprised.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the first Christmas was over 2,000 years ago, and what a night that was. Mary and Joseph journeyed all the way to Bethlehem for some government. I think it was called the census. Poor Mary was a gigantic child riding on a donkey. I'm sure she was tired and wanted to rest in a comfy bed, but I'm afraid that a five-star hotel was not an option. Just a dusty old stable. Jesus Christ, our Lord, was born that night, and all of a sudden, that simple stable became the most important place on earth.
loves us to send his only son to our world to save us. So, with all the other days, you think it's Christmas, whatever you do, don't miss the major. There you are. Your mom is helping Johnny get out of his camel, camel costume. I think on the way home we should celebrate with some ice cream. All right. Dad, can I ride with you? John has been singing that jingle all day, and I need a break. Oh, and I can tell you about the dream I just had. You were there, and Ricky was there, and Lydia, and there were so many things. Are your people still here? It's over already. Oh, and if you happen to need some reliable transportation, the bye got a camel for you. <laughs>